Hello everyone. This channel provides the latest information on the Three Gorges Dam. If you are interested, please subscribe to our channel. Everyone loves the Three Gorges Dam. At noon on April 20, local time in China, the water level at the Three Gorges Dam was 160.03 meters, an increase of about 1 meter compared to the water level on the 8th of this month. Looking at this dam from the upstream side, the water level seems to be around the line indicated. As of 3 p.m. today, the flow rate at upstream stations was 7,600 cubic meters per second, and the inflow into the Three Gorges Dam was 9,700 cubic meters per second. Therefore, after subtraction, the total value from around the dam and from the tributaries was 2,100 cubic meters per second. The flow rate at the upstream observation station had increased considerably, so I predicted that the amount of water flowing into the Three Gorges Dam would increase in the future. And that turned out to be the case. As of noon, the total discharge of the Three Gorges Dam was 7,600 cubic meters per second. The maximum discharge capacity for hydroelectric power generation at this dam is 31,000 cubic meters per second, so it is estimated that about 20% of the power generation is generated. This is a simple calculation, but this means that around 8 hydroelectric power generation water turbines are in operation. They've been increasing their release lately. Nishi Yang Channel. According to the published data of China's Hunan Provincial Watergate Bureau, the changes in the inflow and discharge of the Three Gorges Dam and the water level in the past month are as follows. If you look at the amount of discharge shown by the black line, you will see that they are rapidly increasing their amount, even compared to before. This is a considerable amount of discharge throughout the day. The reason for this is in response to the increased inflow into the dam in recent days. A series of measures have kept the water level at a constant level. For the first time in a while, I will check the status of the dam using satellite images. Here is an enlarged view of the white frame on April 14. There are white bubbles at the light blue dotted line, which are the traces of water discharged from the hydroelectric power plant that I introduced at the beginning. It's the 14th of April. So the release situation is just around here. Earlier, I mentioned that around eight turbines were in operation, but in reality, the output of each turbine is relatively low, and more water wheels are probably turning. At the Three Gorges Dam, the water level difference between the upstream and downstream is about 115 meters, and locks exist to allow ships of all sizes to pass through. The location is the white frame, and it is enlarged here. The left side of the screen is the upstream side, and the right side is the downstream side. You can see ships coming and going at the circle mark, and you can see that there are multiple ships inside the lock gate. The route at the top of the screen, the Three Gorges North Line Lock, was closed for 45 days from February 21st due to inspection and repair work that takes place once every three years, but the work was completed as planned on April 5th. There was an announcement from official media. As you can see from this image, it appears that the two routes up and down are still operating as before. For now, it looks like the Three Gorges Dam is still there. By the way, the tool for viewing satellite information allows three-day display. Although you cannot see the extent of the mud puddles, you can see the basic topography, such as what is underneath the water. Let's take a look at the weather forecast service Windy's performance over the past 12 hours. This is the situation until 9 p.m. You can see rain clouds rising around the dam and upstream. Heavy rain is also falling in the southern regions of China. The Three Gorges Dam has several important roles, namely, flood control, power generation, and navigation. On the other hand, there are numerous challenges such as sedimentation, environmental destruction, rapid climate change, cracking, and the increasing problem of garbage. They claim to choose the best water level from the perspectives of hydroelectric power, navigation, and irrigation, asserting it is safe and secure. But is that really the truth? Especially, I have doubts about the recent water level situation. As far as our channel has researched, 
The area covered by the Three Gorges Dam is the area indicated by the red line. This is the forecast for the next week. Rain clouds are expected in the Yangtze River Basin, but the worst will be in southern and coastal areas of China. There is a high possibility of heavy rain, and rivers may overflow and flood in some places. Please pay attention to future developments. The Three Gorges Dam is located in the middle reaches of the Yangtze River, which spans 6,000 kilometers. It is located at the end of not only the main stream but also many tributaries that flow through the Sichuan Basin. The Three Gorges from which the Three Gorges name is derived. In short, before the steep mountains, the river merged into one, and the dam was built at the end of the gorge. Most of the rain that falls in the central and western regions of China ends up at this dam. Moreover, each tributary carries a considerable amount of water, so floods occur frequently. To avoid this, many dams have been built upstream, and some are still under construction. Looking at this diagram, you can imagine how dangerous the Three Gorges Dam is. The top of the Three Gorges Dam is full of cracks. The Three Gorges Dam has a discharge facility in the center. There are many holes above this facility, but did you know that there are some sort of cracks in them? There are few images seen from the sky, but if you take a closer look at Google Maps etc., you can see that the cracks may have been repaired. A fairly heavy crane is moving from side to side where there are so many holes. It is expected that a considerable amount of tension will be applied, and even though it is concrete, it may still crack. The movement of a large crane over the dam body seems to be a structural problem, but is that okay? This is a video that summarizes detailed information about the Three Gorges Dam and is a popular video that has been viewed over 150,000 times so far, so please enjoy it. The URL is listed in the summary section. As we move towards spring, it's time for more rain. In 2020, heavy rains and flooding continued, and there was concern around the world that dams would collapse. On the contrary, there was a drought from 2022 to 2023, and water shortages continued this year as well. What was surprising was that China's meteorological authorities had already announced the possibility of water shortages as of last year. We will continue to provide you with the latest information, so please subscribe to our channel.